Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for this awesome privilege and also thank my beloved sister for inviting me to share a word or two on this platform. I do not take it for granted. May God honor you in ways beyond your imaginations in Jesus' mighty name. Our text for this program is from John chapter 4, verses 19 through 24. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. And Jesus said to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem, worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. Again, I want to thank God for this awesome privilege to share the gospel of Christ. I do not take it for granted. Romans 10, 15 says, And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. Praise the Lord. And Father, I ask at this hour that you think through me and speak through me. Take control of my thoughts and tongue and fill my mouth with words of life that will yield great fruits in the life of everyone watching this program this hour. In Jesus' mighty name. Worshipping in spirit and truth is not a facade. That's my title. We often do things religiously sometimes because that's what we learned from our fathers and mothers or neighbors growing up. There's nothing wrong in emulating our predecessors, but it is important to understand why they did what they did if we want to have the results we desire. God is more particular about having relationship that is rooted in understanding with us. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who walks in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. And also, Revelation 11, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. God derives pleasure from our worship. Especially worship that emanates from our soul. Angels worship God day and night. They are programmed to do so. But I personally believe that God appreciates human worship more. How many of us will appreciate robots singing our praises or computers singing our praises over humans that choose to sing our praises? The same Revelation 4, verse 8 this time, says... The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Praise the Lord. Our true worship of him is what gives him pleasure. Reciting sweet praises of God means nothing if it does not emanate genuinely from our hearts. We can say God is good and have twitches in our hearts. Why? Because what we may have asked has not manifested yet. Or peradventure, something quite opposite happened or gruesome. At that point, everything we utter, a mere reciting of quotables, Praise the Lord. Matthew 15, 8 through 9. So these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. 
And in vain they worship me, teaching us doctrines, the commandments of men. Likewise, in Isaiah 29, 13 through 14, it says, Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear towards me is taught, emphasis on taught, by the commandment of men, Therefore, behold, I will again do a marvelous work among this people. A marvelous work and a wonder. And what is that marvelous work and a wonder? It says, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And the understanding of their prudent, prudent men shall be hidden. No wonder we marvel sometimes when we see presumably wise men or women walking in folly. Praise the Lord. So worshiping God in truth is to express what we truly feel deep inside rather than uttering cozy religious phrases that we have memorized over time that lack substance. It's okay to express what we feel that may appear negative if we are genuine about them. Because God understands and he knows our thoughts and knows when our understanding is limited in an area and will work with us to grow in such areas if we are willing to work with him. But we shut ourselves out when we call him a good God yet wonder why some things aren't happening the way we ask for them in prayer. Likewise, Worshipping God in spirit is interwoven with worshipping in truth. Being a spirit is not the same as being spiritual. The same way how it, being a dog is different from acting like one. A man can bark like a dog when he chooses to, but a dog will bark naturally. John 6, 63. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. As spirit-filled, born-again believers, our words must reflect life. We must speak life. We cannot speak defeat. We cannot speak fear. What we speak naturally, when it is life, then we are exhibiting our nature as spiritual beings. Romans 8, 16 through 17. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. It is children that have healthy relationships with their father that can approach their fathers boldly. The same way spirit-filled born-again Christians that, are, that have good standing relationship with God are the ones that, are, that can approach God boldly in prayer. So worship is, however... Not limited to praise and worship, and worship or prayer. Worship is a natural lifestyle of a true spirit-filled believer. Example of lifestyle, the state of our mind out of which all issues of life comes, how we express them, positive vibes in verbiage, what we do including tithes and offering, how we treat ourselves and how we treat our neighbors. Praise the Lord. In conclusion, Worshipping God in spirit and in truth is another way of emphasizing the relationship requirement between God and man. We cannot worship God well without a solid relationship with him. And the quality of the relationship depends on our trust in him, which is contingent on our knowledge of him. Praise the Lord. So if we desire to be a true worshiper, we must build a healthy relationship with God. Worship is an expression of our knowledge of him. And he can discern between sweet talking and true worshiping. Imagine someone sharing at a celebrant's party with whom they never really have any good relationship. They will speak generically or fabricate stories or embellish some other stories. The celebrant, however, knows with whom they truly have quality relationships that everybody laughs you know but that's a human being 
how much more God who can see through the heart. May our relationship with him continue to grow as we receive grace of fellowship with him in Jesus' mighty name. May we all find our common grace with God and also with men as we build quality relationships henceforth. May we develop the zeal to labor in God's word that we may know him more and that he may reveal himself even more to us as we seek him diligently. May our worship of him become a lifestyle that even unbelievers will recognize and desire to follow us to serving God. Thank you, Father, for our sad prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Did you grow up learning that God answers prayers in three ways, yes, wait, and no? The book Yes and Amen by Derek and Sanya reveals otherwise. Yes and Amen teaches how to conquer and win. How does it do that? It exposes Satan's tricks. It teaches why prayer manifestations appear delayed and denied. It teaches how God's answers are always yes and amen. It teaches how to build faith easily. It contains revelation that facilitates manifestation to prayers. Available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Walmart and other local and online bookstores worldwide.